My name's Sean James. I was one of the most feared yet revered Reaper men within the UK, specialising in getting cars back other agents couldn't get. Get him down! Sometimes the customers were a bit of a handful. I've had enough of it, mate. Other times, it was a whole different story. What is wrong with you? Down the car! No! You're going somewhere. What's the call, Matt? Oh. How can you not make that? Oh. Oh. You rolling? Ah, oh, where do I start? I've been doing car repossessions now for 25 years, but let's get one thing straight. I never did the easy repos. I've done the other repos other agents couldn't get back. Drug dealers, traveler sites, you name it, I got sent to it and I've got scars to prove it. Sometimes I did them on my own, but most of the time I took back up. This is H. Hi, hi. Worked for me for 23 years watching my back. Would you say I've got a nice back to watch? Yeah. I see it go over walls, through windows. <laughs> Even run over a few times too. But we have been to a few nice places doing jobs as well. Like we've done a collection next to the Tower of London. Yeah, remember the other strange tower we went to? Huh? You know, Martello Tower. I later found out that's what it was called. 103 of them have been built. Coastal defences against Napoleon. 1800s. Oh yeah. Mr Lancelot? You mean Sir Lancelot? Hey, Sir Lancelot. <laughs> So what's the customer today we're going for? All right, let's have a look. Okay, customer is Philip Lancelot. The address is like, a, it's like in a tower. Really? On the seafront. I mean, he lives in a tower. I suppose it'd be nice living in a tower by the seafront. A lovely day. Oh, a lovely day for us, not a lovely day for him. Not a lovely day for him. <laughs> I mean, it'd be nice meeting me, I granted. Meeting me would be such a pleasure. <laughs> yeah, I quite pride myself on being on people's person age. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm like, I can, like, I understand people. I understand the way they tick. Okay. The way they work. And I, I've got a sympathetic ear. People do say to me, like, Sean, do you know what, you're really easy to talk to. So, if you're easy to talk to, right, how come after customers don't like you? Just misunderstanding, I think. Oh. I think like when I go in and say I'm taking the car, and they just like, no, you're not. That's where the misunderstanding is. <laughs> 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 like if I went out to the door and I went, all right, I'm taking your car, and they went, okay. <laughs> people, but we, we'd get on fine. We would get on like a house on fire. Oh my gosh. It's nice being by the sea, isn't it, H? Oh, lovely being by the sea. Seagulls are a nightmare, aren't they? Take your fish. Take your fish and take your dignity. Imagine being a fully grown man and a seagull come down. Ah! Take your fish. You're out on a date with your missus. You try and strangle it. It'd look bad on a date, wouldn't you? You'd really look bad trying to strangle a seagull. Or you just go, oh yeah, I love nature. Oh, off you go, bird. Hope you enjoy my fish. I think it's just along here, mate. It's a tower, isn't it? There. Yeah. It's a nice tower, isn't it? It's weird. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's an Audi parked outside. Happy days. All right. Let's go and see Mr. Lancelot. I don't think the car's going anywhere, H. Come with me. All right. Looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, not so bad. Looks really nice. That's what you call a defence. It's got your bridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Look at that. Wow. That is a castle. Is that a castle? Could you count that as a castle? Or just a tower? It's just a tower, isn't it? Look at that. Imagine living here. Just shut yourself off from the outside world. <laughs> Do me right. Did you hear that? Do you mean my pathetic little knot there? What was that? That's me still it. Don't tickle it, hit it. <laughs> Man, that's solid still. Yeah, I'll use this. Oh, kinky. Why is a chain by the front door? Gentlemen, may I help you? Yeah, is it Philip Lancelot? Sir. Sir Lancelot. I'm not going to call you Sir Lancelot, am I? Your name's Philip. I live in a castle, mate. No, I'd say it was more of a tower. What do you want? There's a repossession warrant for your motor vehicle. You're six months behind. Well, come on in, gentlemen. We're going to check this out. What's all this thing? Ooh, what we got here then? Oh, that hurts someone, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks like he's bitten a medieval nut, eh? That's the idea I'm getting, mate. Yeah, so me. Let's hope he's just gone to get a payment. You hope he's gone to get a payment. No, you do. You can have an ice cream. Two flakes? Here he comes. You are right, gentlemen. I am six months behind. You gonna make a payment then? No. Are you gonna give us the keys in? No. Well, what are you gonna do then? We're just gonna repay your car. How about we do this the old way? Oh, here we go. And what's that then? Code of chivalry. Honor, bravery, truth. Justice, courtesy, gallantry towards women. Do you accept? What do you mean do I accept? Oh, I'll just do it a repo way, mate. I'll just take your keys. H, how many times have we been to a customer's house? They invite us in, start kicking off, don't want to give us a car, but the keys are right there on the side. All the time, mate. All the time. Yeah, and when we just pick the keys up, we look on their face. Well, that's about the time they want to punch her. <laughs> Wait, was that even legal just to pick the keys up? Well, the way I see it is we've gone there, we've served the warrant, the car's now our property, which includes the keys. As long as I take off their house keys and everything, can give them back to them. But is it legal? Civil matter, mate. Challenge accepted. What do you mean, challenge accepted? What's wrong with you? Sure. Yeah. Good block. Cheers for that. I got you back. Get yourself a shield. Oh, we're doing this, are we? He works through. You doing this? Where's he going? Ooh. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? 
You are not taking my car. I am taking What are you playing at? How do you like it? No shields. Here we go again. Lovely sword fight in there, but I don't recall that. As I recall it, the warrant got served, we picked up the keys and we left. But as we were leaving, dude chased after us with a sword. No, it was definitely some sword fighting, H. No, mate, no. It was a little bit of. Uh, 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 <laughs> no. Parry, block. Nothing at all. You've got your version, mate, I've got mine. Well, that was an easy one, wasn't it? You still got a key? Yeah, got it right here. Cool. Hey, you take the Jeep. Okay. I'll take the car. Oh, he was a gunner. We have unfinished business. Unfinished business? I'll show you unfinished business. <sighs> Likes to play games, does he? Likes to play games. So do I. I'm having that. A sword. Oh yeah, I've been meaning to ask you. Did you ever keep that sword? What would I keep the sword for, H? It was only after the car. Yeah, true, true. I had to fill a five-page report out on that sword and where it went. So where did it go? Well, you know the police stations have got the amnesty bins for the knives and all that? Yeah. I put it in one of them. It actually fit in one of them, did it? I don't know, let's have a look. Do you think it would fit? I knew you kept that sword short. <laughs> <laughs> but I know something that you did throw in the bin, though. What's that? Or your uniform. You went home in your pants, remember? Why would I go home in my pants for? Transit, Litchfield. Oh, yeah. I did walk home in my pants, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> so what's today's job, Ben H? Today's job. Stuart had so. Oh, he had a sword, now he's lost it. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so how many months of rears he's in? Oh, he's in arrears of oh, six months. Six months. So there you go then. Six months. So then if you could have a cup of tea with anyone, who yeah. would you have a cup of tea with? You know what? I'd have a cup of tea with myself, mate. So that's it, that's, your, that's the feeling then, Bill. You'd have a cup of tea with yourself, or just shut the door. Well, I don't really want to have a cup of tea with anyone. I think if I could have a cup of tea with someone, it'd be Ricky Gervais. Why? Why? Gervais? What do you mean, why Ricky Gervais? Why would you not want a cup of tea what? with Ricky Gervais? What is so special about Ricky Gervais? I know, I wouldn't be a stalker. I'd just knock his door. All right, Ricky. 
let's have a cup of tea. You know, take some bourbons or custard creams with me. You know, sit down with him. Don't stay that's, for more than 10 minutes. That's borderline stalking, man. Right? No, yeah. no, no, just have a cup of tea, because everyone's human. You know, just... just mate, if cause... you're going to introduce yourself with cup of teas and biscuits... Without no, he makes the tea. I don't take the tea. That's too much. That's too much. Oh I'd knock his door and go, right, Ricky, fancy a cuppa? He'd be like, oh, Sean, you all right, mate? Yeah, come in. And then after I've had a cup of tea, I, you know, I wouldn't outstay my welcome. Then I'd credit check his car on the way out, make sure it's not on finance. You see, you just can't help yourself. Since you said that, you've had your cup of tea, you've had your biscuits, you've yeah. checked his car, yeah. see if it's on finance, and it is on finance, yeah. what, what are you going to do? I'll repo it. Really? Hey, it's repo's a repo. Wow. What kind of tea are you talking about, actually? Because there's all kinds of tea. No, just normal tea. Place. I just don't think tea. Ricky would be fancy. Milk, two sweeteners, I think he'd have. Confident you are, man. Ten minutes, Hold on, go. hold on, but he hasn't invited you. You've just you've just rocked up at his doorstep. Yeah, there might there. be a question of how I found out where he lived. <laughs> but that's beside the point. I'm a repo man, isn't it? He might just get past that. I'm lost. Yeah. Talking well, about Ricky, going. I'm actually <laughs> lost. Right, they're supposed to be doing a repo, H. Oh, man. I don't know it. Dear, where we are. No, no, am I? Got lost. Oh, we're only around the corner. It's just here. Oh, it's a coldy sack. We like coldy sacks, don't we? we? Definitely do. One way in, one way out. one here on the left. Ah, drive's empty. There's no transit van there, is there? No. Nah. I even fit my bloody Jeep on it. Can you get out your door? Yeah. Oh, that's a disappointment, isn't it? No transit van, right? Let's go find out where it is then. Oh, Slim Jim coming through. Yeah, can I help you? Is it Stuart Hadsaw? Yeah. What yeah. Can there's a repossession warrant for your silver um, transit, KP06 KFG. I don't got a clue what you're on about, man. Well, of course you know what we're on about. There's a repossession warrant for it, so you must have signed some finance. Yeah, out of that, he's gone. Can you see one round there? There's nothing here. So who's got it then? It's gone back. It's gone back where? Gone back to them lot. She's so saying the finance company have had it back? Yeah, months ago. You're six months in arrears, the finance company haven't got it back, so they've sent us out. Where is it? Well, obviously, right, we all scrapped it. She so scrapped it? I scrapped it. Have you got a receipt for it? No. Nah. It was a nail, it's gone. It just took it running into the scrapyard and left it there. So, one minute the finance company's got it, and now a scrapyard's got it. What scrapyard? Down the bottom end of town. What's it called? Ah, oh, you got a clue. You know what these scrapyards are like, the only one round here. So, you just want me to believe that there's a scrapyard just down the end of a road and you've got no name for it? Look, mate, believe what you want, just don't come around here again. I don't believe a word he's saying to no, no, you. No, not at all. It's one minute the finance company had it. And he's changing his story. He's got it, he knows where it is. We didn't pass it, did we? Nope, we would have seen that. Is that just a path or a drive? You wouldn't get a transit round there, would you? Is that just a path or a drive? It was all right for him to say, he scrapped it to a finance company, but when we stood there face to face with him, you know, we can pick holes in his story. Some of the stories we've had over the years have just been hilarious. Like that bloke, he said he lent it to his neighbour, he lent it to his neighbour, lent it to a bloke down the pub, he drove it to France. <laughs> Remember that one? <laughs> he expected us to go to France to go and get a car. Where was it? At his grandma's, <laughs> in the back garden. You know, like this bloke. We can't clarify his story. He clearly knew where the van was. He was just leading us on a wild goose chase. Some gates. Oh, there's oh. a transit. 
Happy days. No number plates. Second that's our one. Oh, definitely. Let's go and check the VIM number. Let's get this old gate open, H. What are you doing? H, move, move, move. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is Bob Foffer to get off. So what's this transit then? One that's what says you wasn't that's even not here. That's what they do with you. Of course it's ours, you just that is not your, off. That is not your van, now get out. That's our van? No, it's not. Off me property. I'm going to check the Off me property, man. You've got no rights down here, mate. Off me property now. Yo, this is open. You can't be doing this. You've got no rights around here. Yeah, it's got VIM number H. Go and get a folder. All right, you can take the number plates off, but you can't really change the VIN number. Well, you can change the VIM number, but that's cloning the vehicle. There's a fair few vehicles out there what have been cloned, which have got finance on them, without the finance company's knowledge. You've got no rights to be on here doing this. Excuse me. Whiskey Foxtrot Zero Bravo Delta Foxtrot Victor 5 Charlie 6616. Yeah, mate, this is our vehicle. No, nah, mate. This is nothing to do with you. It is? No, nah, definitely not. I want you off my property. You say now. the van's open, H. Van's open. Off my property now, mate. Oh, look. Well, well. Not your vehicle. It's all mixed up, mate. Not your vehicle? Oh, was you take the plates off so no one can see it? Then we're off for a different van. They pull them back in. So the, the VIM number matches, registration plates match, screwdriver. I think we're stupid. Your paperwork's wrong, mate. I want you gone. This is coming with us. It's ain't going anywhere. Just a minute ago, you said it wasn't even here. This is a different van and you ain't taking it. It's not a different van. What's that, Reg? And that's nothing to do with you. This is my van and you ain't taking it now, eh? Best thing you can do is empty your stuff out of it. Nothing out of it, is it? That's not nothing. Get off me, van. Honestly. Empty your stuff, all this, out your van. That's nothing to do with you. That's my stuff. Yeah, do you want to take it out? No, I ain't taking nothing out. You ain't really having nothing. We're going to take this van, so if you want to empty your stuff out of it, just empty your stuff out. Nah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go call the lads, I'm going to get you moved. I'll go and get the lads in. I'll get them down here and go you'll on be gone. Go call the lads in. How many times have we heard that? We used to get that all the time, didn't we, H? We'd ring for backup, ring for legal advice, even ring their doctor if they thought it would buy them some time. But no matter which street we went in, there was always a legal advisor somewhere within the street, wasn't there? Yeah. Never had a job in their life, but that day, <laughs> they was legal counsel. <laughs> oh, you can't do that, you can't do this. <laughs> Get over the edge. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, having the keys is always good. But if we haven't got the keys, we can always tow it. Yeah, but once you get in there, snap the steering lock off. That's how I used to do it, wasn't it? Get right low, get me foot on. <laughs> Give it a, once that steering lock went, we started pushing the car out. The two come to their senses, wouldn't they? Well, you'd push a car. I'd be like this. <coughs> That's me driving. <laughs> yeah, mate, what are you doing? I need you down here now. How many times have we heard that? Too many, too many, and again, Sean, too many. Ma, I need your help, mate. Got the repo guys around here to try to take me van. What do you mean, how big they are, does it matter? Yeah, the big lads up. Ma. Ma. Ma, how oh, some mate you are. Same old, same old. Do you reckon we'll get it out through there? He got it in, so we're getting it out. Sam, I need some help, bud. Got the repo lads around here. I can't get nobody down. What do you mean? You're the beauty salon getting your missus' nails done? Yeah, great. Cheers for that. It's going to be tough, though, isn't it? Yeah, but we're repo, mate, sure. That's what counts, isn't it? Tight squeeze. Steve, mate, you last help. I need your help. I've got the repo lads around here. Yeah, I oh, know. They're trying to set me van. Can you get you down here now and help me out? What do you mean, you're working nights, mate? Yeah, right, you ain't even got a job. I'll deal with this myself. Just snap the steering lock off, push it out into the street. Can do, yeah. I've got the lads coming down. Are you going to go off my property now? 
You haven't got the lads coming down. I own a repossession firm. I can't call in the lads coming down. If I rung the lads now, half of them pretend to be asleep and the other half will switch their phone off. Look, I want you off your property. How are you going to apply this? Just empty your van, come on. You want me to empty the van? Empty the van. Yeah, you want me to empty it? Oh, great, it's raining. H, secure the vehicle, mate. Just in case he's got another set of keys. Can you see the stuff you want out, yeah? Can you see the stuff you want out? Oh, sorry, mate. Yeah. Is that empty enough for you? Yeah, oh, there's another one for you. Yeah, I'll have that one and all. Look at the state of me. What are you playing at? What are you playing at? I'm saying, what are you playing at? Look at this. You started it? Hey, it was you. Look at this. Champagne on my foot, on my leg, but in my eye. Should have moved then, that's your problem. Just give us the key. Oh. There you go, you got the keys. Something else you are. Yeah. You got what you wanted. Absolutely something else. Oh, Banksy. I think Lilac suits you, mate. More like year five finger painting. Hey, a little bit of colour in your cheek. Yeah, there you go. Doctor always said I should have colour in my cheeks. <laughs> I'm going to drive home in this. I'm going to have to drive home naked. Oh, please, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we can't do that. You're laughing at? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's funny, come on. Honestly, what are you laughing at? Hey, what can I say? I'm impressed. You do it next time? No. Nah. This is my job. That <laughs> is yours. <laughs> oh, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, yeah. Oh, this is good. It's but, stuck yeah. to my hands, look. Seems stuck to me hands. Oh, you can't lose that ladder. How many paint pots did he throw over me? Quite a few. Honestly, quite a few. <laughs> what is this dude playing at? Oh, God. No. You had fun that day, did you, H? Oh, mate, seeing that paint was one thing, but seeing that ash all over you, oh, that was something else, mate. Didn't feel like stepping in at any point, help no, your boss? No, 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 you had it covered, <laughs> quite literally. <laughs> Listen, you were covered in paint. It don't make sense both of us being covered in it. Plus, I've worked with you long enough to know that you was moments away from flipping your lid. Oh, that was all right then. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What do you mean you just cover me in ash? Get off me, man. Get off ya? Yeah, get off me. What'd you go and do that for? Just get off me, yeah. Looks like you bloody tarred and feathered me. Suit ya. Now get off me. <sighs> oh, where's the keys, H? I've dropped them. Mate, I ain't got a clue. Has he not picked them up? Where's, um, I thought you said they were stuck to your hands. Oh, mate, I'm getting cold now. Where are they? Oh, where they ah. are. Oh, come on, let's get going. After you, sir. After you. <laughs> I know you can't see the funny side of it, but, mate, I'm in tears now. <laughs> oh, this, mate, I ain't got a camera on me. This is a brilliant photo shot. Say cheese? Mate, paint was bad enough. The ash? I'm in tears now. 
<laughs> oh, this is lovely. This, oh, gosh. Come on, let's just go. <laughs> Hey, it's just going open the gates. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. Like throwing bricks, do you? Yeah, you can keep the brick. How much money does he owe on this? Hold on. I've never done this before, mate, but I'm a CO. I think he's only got about three payments left, didn't he? Well, he owes 2,600. 2,600. Mate, right, you can keep your phone and I'll pay you money for you. What are you doing? Take my advice, mate. Let it be. Call it quits. He's real moody now. I'll pay the rest of your finance, mate. Keep it. Oh, it's finished. Nice to see you looking all calm and professional there, Sean. What do you used to say to me? Hmm. Don't let the customer get you back up. You remember that one? Okay, hold on, hold on. I might have another one yet. Oh, yeah. Don't let the customer get under your skin. Remember that? Oh. Was it just do the job, do what you've come to do, ignore the customer? Nah. The best one is lead by example. So the next job I'm on, I'm taking a brick. Oh, mate, you really going to pay his finance? I'm not going to pay his finance off. Didn't even serve the paperwork. That van was totally trashed. What did the finance company say about that? The most weirdest thing is, never even got a phone call. Nothing. I literally just handed it back and said we couldn't find it. You must have just paid the arrears off then. Yeah, or, or he could have handed it back himself, but I couldn't see that. So it was a tricky thing when we turn up with a repossession warrant and the people are already standing there ready to give the car back. They think they're handing it back way too late. We've got a warrant, it's now a repossession. Oh, remember that woman who thought she had no arrears to pay off when she was handing back that car? You're on about woman from the farm, aren't you? <laughs> she even cleaned it for us, mate. <laughs> she was nuts. <laughs> right, today's job, NH, we're at a farm. A farm? Yeah, a farm. Paperwork, sir. Where's the folder, Sean? Where's the folder? Yeah. I've lost it. How did you lose a big folder like that? I don't know. If I knew that, I wouldn't have lost it. Right, we're looking for Karen Newman. The uh, vehicle is a white Audi. Nice. 2011, isn't it? Yeah, 2011. You ever thought about being a farmer, H? Me? Yeah. Farming? Really? Yeah? No. Farmer, H? Warr. I've never thought about farming. You could get like a bit of stir in your bandana. Uh, you could tip your bandana to people. <laughs> what You'd make a good farmer. Oh, really? Holding yourself back in life, H. Oh, so farming is the way to go, is it? I don't know. It's just an option open to you. Right, the sat nav is saying it's just here on the right. Oh, yeah, I see. All a bit bumpy. Oh, man boobs are going. Yeah, man boobs go. <laughs> yeah, man too. Little, little man yeah. boobs going. <laughs> 
get to our age, get your little man boobs. <laughs> Perks of getting old. How's that perk getting man boobs? I don't know. Dad bods. <laughs> Women like dad bods now, we're in luck, H. <laughs> It's a dead end. It's looking like that way. Oh no, it opens up. Oh, here's a little farm building. Hmm. No one here. A farmer nobody's about. So let's get out and have a look. Could be hidden anywhere out here, couldn't it? Plenty of room for it. Some cars over there. Yeah. It's a white Audi down there. That's what we're looking for, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon that one's ours. Locked. Echo Tango 11, St. Charlie Delta Foxtrot. This is us. Got a bit of damage here, mate. Tires are scuffed a little. Yeah, they're scuffed on this side as well. Looks all right though, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, you know the score, H? Secure the car. I'll go and find the customer. Good luck with that. It's a bit quiet, isn't it? Yeah, it's too quiet. If you have a banjo's going, come and get me. Oh, hang on a minute, what's her name again? Karen Newman. Karen Newman. See you in two hours. Best of luck. Is it Karen Newman? Hi, yeah, can I help you? Yeah, we've got a repossession warrant for your motor vehicle. It's down there. Yeah, I knew you were coming. I've received the letter. Um, it's the farm's not doing so good at the minute so yeah it's all there ready to go if you want to take it i've got the log book the keys it's all log good books in it yeah log books in it but have you got the keys on you i do yeah do you want them now yeah please okay thank there you there you go i've even washed it for you and everything that's nice of you yeah it's a nice little car to be fair she clearly wasn't hiding that car because it was out in the open well, she was hiding it. Hide and seek ain't no forte. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she had the keys, the logbook. It's obvious she was waiting for us. Certainly a nice place you got here. Yeah, shame it's not paying anymore. Even got the key, H. Cool. The logbook's in the glove box. Oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, you've even got all service history. Yeah, I've uh, looked after this car. Yeah, it seems to be all there. Okay, well, thank you very much. Oh, no, thank you. So what happens now? Um, what happens now is we'll probably take you straight to auction and it would get sold at auction and then whatever's left outstanding um you have to pay it i'm responsible for the leftover money yeah on the finance yeah because obviously the finance agreement is let's have a look H. you've still got eight thousand pounds after it's been repossessed so this will probably go for maybe three thousand four thousand so you'll be you'll still owe about four grand it's all on there i can't afford to pay that Surely you've got the car. You can't want any more money off me. That's not down to us. We're just repossession agents. 
This is where it gets complicated, doesn't it, H? I mean, she's handed the car back to us, still a repossession. It'd be treated like a repossession. It would get took to auction, free bids on it. Whatever the shortfall is, she'll have to pay it off. She should have just done a deal with a finance company and she would have saved our fees. People always have a problem when it comes to paying our fees. Your beauty products don't pay for themselves, H. So you're telling me I've given you the keys, I've given you the logbook, I've done everything you've asked of me, and I'm still going to have to pay money on this car? Yeah. I've given you the key. Yeah, I know, and I'm very grateful for it. So what, what now? I, I can't afford to pay. I know. That's why we've repossessed it. So you've took the mick out of me, and you've made me look an absolute fool. And Hang on a minute. Well, a fool to who? There's only three of us here. I'm just not having this at all. People just don't understand, do they? They're not reading the small print. Yeah, but they're quick to sign the agreement, oh, aren't yeah, they? Oh, yeah, I know that, yeah. Obviously, she's presumed that she's in debt. She's given back the car and she thinks that she's debt free now. And it don't work like that. Yeah, put that back in the glove box, mate. All right. You take the Jeep. OK. And I'll meet you back at the yard. All right, cool. See you in a bit. See you in a minute. Where's she going with that? No! No! Ah! Ah! Let him down! What are you doing? Open the door! Ah! Open the door! Let him down! Are you having fun? You yes. having fun? Let him down. No. Why? Sean! H! Get me out of here! Put down the car! No! Put it down! No! Put it down! No! What are you picking it up for? No! What are you picking it up for? Because it's my car, you're not having it! It's not your car, you gave it to us, remember? My you car. gave us the keys! My car! Put it down! No! Sean! What's wrong with this woman? One minute she wants to hand the car back, next minute she wants to keep it. I ain't really bothered whose car it is, I'm just bothered that you were still in it. Oh yeah, Rach, I was still in it. Open the door! Put it down! What's this woman doing? Sean! Where's she going with the car? Where's she going with Sean? What is she doing? This woman's, this woman's crazy. What are you doing? Put the car down. Sean! Can we chase after you like I'm a madman? Yo, come on, man. Put down the car. Get me out of here. Hey, get me out. Hey, get, get us out. Come on. Come on, I got you. Go on. Yeah. All oh, right, mate, all right. This woman's mad. You gave me the runaround, I've given you the runaround. Runaround? Runaround? I've been doing all the running around. You all right down there? Oh, I think I should finish that. Line. You what? I said, I don't think I should be in this line of work anymore.
So, if you had if you had a car on finance and you hadn't paid and they sent Sean after you, what would you do? Honestly, if I had a car on finance and they sent Sean after me, I'd hand the car over. <laughs> 